fans and welcome to uh, the August update for Gaming Debugged. This YouTube channel is dedicated to all things video games and okay so first of all let's look back over last month so on the website and on my channel you will find that there's a Watch Dogs review. Oh, that was a frustrating game, but for my full opinion, check out the, the Watch Dogs link at the end. Um, also, I went uh, and had a look at uh, Gone Home as well. That was a that was a, a brilliant game, short but brilliant game. Uh, I can see why it won all the awards. Um, also on the website, probably just now, you'll find the Jazz Punk review on there. Really surreal, really crazy, but definitely worth a play. Um, and last month saw the arrival of the Destiny Beta as well, so I pre-ordered, you know, despite it being a crazy practice, I did, I pre-ordered, I got the uh, Destiny Beta on Xbox One, and you'll find uh, two videos on there, one which will be my initial first day thoughts, and then a follow-up just a few days later, just sort of reflecting on what has been played and reflecting on the game as a whole, uh, in terms of, well, as a whole as in those first two levels that I played, um, and just giving my opinions on that really. So uh, yeah, if you want to hear them, don't forget to check out that video as well. Um, also on the website, uh, did a few uh, little video game related articles, such as the Seven Samurai of Gaming, which sort of looked at the ninja and samurais of gaming and sort of looked back over such uh, as a Strider and Shinobi and, play, um, and play people like that. Um, but then now, looking forward, okay, going forward to August. Now, August looks to be quite a quiet um, release month, really, um, which is good news for me because I've got a backlog of games that I really want to play, so with it being a quiet month, it means I can get things like uh, Dead Rising 3 out of the way, which means I can uh, put some more hours into um, Need for Speed and just try and get those reviews nailed down as well. But out this month, I think the big titles you've got uh, Diablo 3, Ultimate Evil Edition, so I think a lot of people are looking forward to that. I mean, it's not not my first choice, but I will, I'm, you know, I'm happy to uh, have a look at that and give my opinion, I'm not too sure. Uh, and then what I am looking forward to though is the Metro Redux. So you've got the Metro 2033 uh, and the um, and the other one, Metro Redux, whatever it's called. Um, and so I'm looking forward to those two games because I actually miss them on uh, Xbox 360 uh, and on PC. So um, I'm actually looking forward to playing on the Xbox One now. It's been revamped and redone. Um, for all you American football fans, or uh, uh, football fans, if you are in America, then uh, the Madden NFL 15's out. So I'm sure there's a lot of happy footy fans there. Um, now some of the smaller titles that are out, um, I think on, not Xbox Live, but the smaller titles on Xbox are the Pinball FX uh, and Siegecraft Commander. Now, I think Pinball FX uh, is quite interesting because it has, a, it has a, a library of licensed tables. So if you are a fan of, um, say, like the Star Wars Pinball table, then I think you can actually buy individual um, tables to play. So if you're a Pinball fan, then that's, that's going to be great. So uh, Whereas the Siegecraft Commander, that's much more of a sort of a tower defense uh, kind of game, so uh, we'll see what comes of that. I'm not really heard too much about that at the moment. Um, and this month uh, is also a, you get the free games with gold as well. So on Xbox One, you've got two new titles. Uh, so Gone are um, Max and the Curse of Brotherhood. Gone is Guacamelee. So um, if you miss them, bad luck. There were two great titles, uh, but this month we are looking at Crimson Dragon. Uh, which is pretty good, it was pretty good. I had a few goes on uh, somebody else's machine and that was pretty good. I didn't buy it at the time, but now it's free. I am definitely going to download that one. And Strike Suit Zero, which again looks like a solid shooter um, that, that I'm really looking forward to playing. Um, so that's good. I mean, I really like the idea. It's been so long since I played sort of the Wing Commander games um, that I think it's going to be quite nice to sort of get back into the, the um, cockpit, as it will, and and shoot some, uh, some enemies in space, um, especially whilst we wait for Star Citizen uh, to, to come along. Now, what else we got? Uh, so, in DLC front, um, the Trials Fusion has been updated with new tracks. Um, so I've bought Trials Fusion, so um, I'm going to take a look at those um, this month as well. Um, and Titanfall, Frontier's Edge, so yeah, it's going to be out, I think, well, I think it was out a few days ago. Um, and in the UK it was out yesterday. Um, so I've got the season pass, so uh, I'll get home tonight and have a go on that one. 
Um, and I think also announced in August, there was the Call of Duty Advanced uh, Warfare Collector's Edition announced. Um, so there's a, uh, the Collector's Edition is already ready for that coming out in October, I think it is. Um, so if you're into Collector's Editions, then um, and you're into Call of Duty, that could be one to keep an eye out. Um, so yeah, lots, lots happening on Xbox, um, really, once you sort of add it all up, even though the, the AAA titles are, are few and far between. Um, what else we got? Hmm. Okay, now it's uh, news time! News, 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 news! Okay, so in news we've got uh, Walking Dead Season 3 uh, is on its way, so that's all approved and um, it's winging its way. And uh, because of the leaks a couple of months ago, we, we do now know that that's uh, all of the backlog of Walking Dead games are coming to uh, next generation consoles, so they are going to be on PS4 and on Xbox One. So uh, hopefully that'll be uh, in time for when Season 3 is released as well, so you can play through the entire three seasons. Um, <clears throat> big news in the industry was um, uh, Google has confirmed that they have bought Twitch. Now this um, was a rumour back a couple of months ago. Uh, that Google, the, the giant that already owns YouTube, uh, had put in a one billion dollar offer to buy Twitch. Now, um, it was only rumoured and nobody confirmed at the time, but um, as it turns out, the deal is done, the forms are signed, and now Google has this monopoly on video streaming on the internet. So, uh, I don't know what's going to happen there. I mean, uh, uh, there are some parts of Google which work really well, but then they do tend to make a service, make a good service, and then start charging ad advertising and all that kind of stuff. Um, so we'll have to see what Twitch does um, with its $1 billion, really, and uh, and how Google are going to change it and integrate it into YouTube, really. So, um, yeah, we'll keep you posted on that one. So, uh, in other kind of semi-gaming news, so... Um, Deus Ex is one of my favourite all-time games. Um, it's a fantastic game, and there's always rumours, always rumours flying around. Um, there's going to be a movie. Uh, there's a new director. Director's dropped out. There's a new actor. Actors dropped out. Well, it's come full circle again because now there's a new writer uh, on the Deus Ex movie, which is uh, Michael Fitch. Um, so you'll probably know him from the Predators movie, and. To be honest, it wasn't that bad. You know, Predators, it did exactly what it said on the tin, so, you, you know, it, it was watchable, uh, it was enjoyable, so, um, I've got high hopes. You know, Deus Ex is an amazing world, it could be very Blade Runner-y, um, if done right, um, so we'll keep an eye on that. And, um, what else happened? Um, industry news as well, EA has now um, announced their subscription model, so, you pay five dollars a month, and you get um, you get access to a number of titles. I think it's Peggle Two, NFL um, Fifteen. Um, I think you get some of the football, the soccer games, the football games, like the FIFA games. Um, and they're going to add to this. And for that five dollars a month, you get to play all of that, including Battlefield Four, um, uh, for free, or for that five dollars a month. Um, now. This is getting mixed reviews. It's it sounds uh, like an interesting idea. It sounds like uh, how the industry is going because, from from my opinion, um, digital uh, digital purchasing is probably a big issue for all of the big retailers. So places like GameStop and Game and all this kind of stuff, um, if they're going to sell it digitally, then they need to be on the Xbox console. So. This kind of EA subscription model um, means that if EA can get that app on there uh, and you've got this subscription model and they offer you a discount on full price games, then you're likely to then buy your EA games directly from there and not from Microsoft and again not from GameStop or anything like that. So I think it's um, a natural, um, it's a natural uh, way that the industry is going, and then soon you might find there's a, a GameStop app on there, and there's a game app on there as well. So uh, this is just the very first tentative footsteps into uh, sort of a digital world of sort of selling all the digital titles. Um, so yeah, we'll have to see how what comes of that. Um, and finally, for news, we have uh, Deep Silver um, now um, have bought the Homefront IP. So I don't know if you if you've seen, but in the industry, uh, Crytek US has been going through some troubles. Uh, Crytek, the engine behind Crisis and uh, and Rise, um, uh, and they've been having some issues. So uh, they're actually been starting to sort of sell off some of their IPs uh, with. Um, 
with Homefront going to uh, the UK, so I guess I'm going to um, Cambridge, I think it is, uh, and then Hunt, uh, Horrors of the Gilded Age, uh, I think that's now going to Crytek in Frankfurt. Uh, so uh, it's unsure what's fully happening in the young Crytek US now, I think they're just sort of downsizing, uh, shrinking their team, uh, and, and uh, it's still going to use Crytek Engine, but uh, yeah, the future for that, for that company is a little bit uh, un, uh, uncertain at the moment. Okay, um, right, okay, what else has happened? Um, Xbox updates. So we've had, uh, the rolling out these updates, like nobody's business, aren't they? Um, so the Xbox update for, uh, for July uh, and August um, is going to include the 3D uh, Blu-ray playback, um, which if you have Blu-ray 3Ds uh, is good news. Uh, I don't have a 3D TV, I'm not entirely interested in getting a 3D TV. Um, so, uh, meh, really, at the end of the day, I don't really know. It's, it's, I suppose it's good to have these features, um, but it won't appeal to everyone. Uh, what does appeal to me, though, is the fact that you can actually um, get buy games on Xbox.com and have them download to your console. So this was in the original vision, this is something I wanted to see, I want to be able to be sat at my desk, I think, okay, I want that game, buy it online, and if my computer's on standby mode, or my Xbox on standby mode, it's going to boot up and it's going to download the title. That is the future. Um, so apart from that, there's been some activity feed updates, uh, and they've also added the Now TV app as well. So Sky streaming service is now uh, 4.99 or 8.99 if you want the movies, uh, and adds yet another app to um, to use. Really, I mean, uh, I'm a Netflix person myself, but if you have Now TV or a Sky subscription, then this is definitely a, a step in the right direction for them. Okay, and what else is happening in the games world? Games world. Okay, so Steam. Um, I'm already playing Gods, Gods Will Be Watching, and so that came out at the very end of July. So if you if you like your uh, difficult decision games where uh, you know decisions seem to matter, then uh, that's a really interesting game. Six screens, lots of dialogue, but um, some really interesting outcomes there. Uh, and I'm also going to be playing Amnesia. <gasps> Yes, that really old game, <laughs> but I missed it first time around, um, it was in the Steam sale, I really wanted to play it, um, I've not seen all of the Let's Play with PewDiePie or anyone like that, uh, I know it's a scary game but I just want to experience it for myself so I'm going to play that, I'll probably review it, I don't know anyone who's not played that already but uh, if you find that review useful, excellent, and things that I'm sort of keeping my eye on um, that's out in August, uh, the LA Cops. Uh, is out in August, and that's kind of a, a, a 3D pseudo sort of isometric type of shooter where it's all sort of set in this sort of 70s cop show style all with bold colours and flared pants. So um, the look of it is intriguing, and it's now on my wish list. I'm going to see what that's like uh, in late August. Um, and that is the conclusion of my news. Uh, what else have I got? Um, uh, yeah, finally, what do you think? Studio. Okay, so a lot of my videos are done in front of my computer um, from a meter away, but I thought I'd give it a studio a go. So uh, you might notice that uh, we've upgraded, we've got some lights. Uh, look, there's a light, look, there's a light. Uh, that all needs to be sorted, but um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do you like, do you prefer the studio uh, videos to the home videos? Um, let me know, really, because in the co like, comment, uh, if you like it or not, and I will create whatever content uh, you you comment on, really. So um, that is it. So uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I really want to do this all the time and do more games and more games and more weird games and more Xbox One games. Um, so please subscribe, like and comment, and I will see you in another video very soon. All right, bye. Finish him. If you want more, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe or click the link for even more reviews.